Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video is going to be my one year epoxy countertop update, how they've held up, and I'm going to be answering all of your frequently asked questions. If you have not seen the epoxy countertop update, that video will be linked down below in the description box. Go check it out. I also will link my how to prep your countertop video. That has a ton of information in it if you have for mica countertops like we had. So I'm gonna go over all of the questions that I get asked frequently and I'm gonna give you the full one year update on our epoxy countertops. Don't forget to stick around and subscribe if this is your first time over here on my channel and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and I am so excited to give you the full update, give you some tips and let you know how everything has held up over here with our epoxy countertops. The first questions that I'm gonna go over are, does it bubble up and can you see the texture? As you can see in the video, yes, you can see the texture, but it is mostly when the light is on it and when the light hits it. And did it bubble up? Yes, there were certain spots that did bubble up, but for the most part, it levels itself out. We use the Ligari epoxy countertop kit and it is very self-leveling. You do not need any heat for it to pop bubbles or any of those things that you may see in other epoxy countertop videos. This is very good at self-leveling. There were only a few spots that did have the little bubbles that did not go away. The other questions I am going to answer are, has it chipped, has it yellowed, and does it stain? There are some areas that have chipped like I just showed you with my finger a few seconds back but mostly because I dropped stuff on it on the edges from very high up, heavy stuff that hit it just at the right angle. It does not chip easily. And there are some spots that have stained, mostly this spot. This is the biggest stain that we have. We do not know what it's from. I've tried everything that Ligari, the company that we used, has recommended to try to remove the stains and it just will not budge. I wish I could tell you what caused the stain in case you are going to epoxy your countertops, but I have no clue what it's from and we cannot get it up. The most frequently asked question that I get is, have they yellowed? Has it had any yellowing? Is it yellow now? Because they were so white when we first started them or when we first did them. And there are areas, especially that area, I don't know if you can see it on camera, that have yellowed, but not bad. The light has to be just right to really see it. My husband doesn't even notice it half of the time. So yes, it has yellowed, but it's not bad where I would not recommend the product. It's really very faint yellowing. They still look very, very white. One thing that I don't really get asked about is how the back splashes held up, but I wanted to tell you guys anyways, because this is the area where we had the most difficulty when having it set up and when we were doing it, because we didn't really pay as much attention to the back splashes as we probably should have, because we have all these run marks on the back there. They bother me, they drive me nuts. I hate seeing them, but I don't really know how to fix them now that it's all set up and we've had it for a year. But my tip for you, if you are epoxying your countertops is to, and you have these backsplashes, is to keep a roller on hand, watch them, and roll out any drip marks before it sets up completely. Because once it's all set up, I don't know if there's any way to fix it. We tried sanding them down, but they didn't budge. This is another area where there was very slight yellowing. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on the camera, but this was another area that had yellowing. I don't know if it's because it's by my stove or when we have the shutters open in our kitchen, the sunlight hits it because it is a urethane top coat. Haven't quite figured it out yet. Don't know how to remedy the situation and I wish I had an answer for you, but all in all, the countertops have held up really, really well. Very minor chips, only in the areas where I have actually caused them very minor yellowing, not really scratching, and I don't put hot pans on them. That is another question that I get a lot, but I do not put heat on them. I always use a trivet or a hot pad before putting a pan or anything on there. One tip that I wanted to give you guys was obviously to focus on those backsplashes, but also focus on the edges if you're doing an island like we did. This is another area where we had run marks or it doesn't look as perfect as it could. 
And then another tip is to take the tape off of your wall where your backsplash is and stuff or where the wall meets the countertop soon, like before the epoxy really sets up. I did not do that and I had to go in with a razor blade and cut away the tape and it does not look great on the backsplash, but that's nothing that a little bit of caulking can't fix. Another area that we have is this spot right here. My father-in-law put his hand on the countertops when they were setting up, totally forgetting that we had just epoxied them. And then my husband tried to roll it out when the countertops were pretty much set. So we have this roller mark on the countertop so it doesn't look super perfect, but other than that, they're great. So one of my most requested videos is the update on our countertops. And I hope that this video has covered most of the questions that you guys have been asking me. I tried to get to every question. The most frequently asked things were, is there yellowing? Did it bubble up? And have they scratched or chipped? So I hope that I covered everything in this video for you. I also wanted to share some things that I would have done differently when we were doing this was to focus on the backsplash while it's setting. We did not do that and I really wish we would have had a roller on hand and just kind of kept rolling it to make sure that it was smooth so that there aren't these drips here because we do have issues with the drips especially over here in this corner and as well as the front of the island too. That is one of the major things that I noticed after we did it but other than that they have held up really well besides this stain right here that big ring. We don't know what caused the stain but that is the most stained area. They've yellowed slightly, but it's nothing that you would notice coming into the house. We mostly notice it because it is our house and we look at the counters every day. Sometimes my husband says that he doesn't even see the yellowing. So with that being said, would I recommend epoxying your countertops? Yes, I definitely would. If you are looking to do granite, quartz, or anything like that, a marbled countertop, and it's just not in your budget right now, I think the epoxy countertops are a great route to go. We used one kit on our countertops, and I believe the kit is about $400 with Ligari, and you get your primer and all of that stuff. You get a highlight color. I know in my video, I did spray paint to get my highlight color achieved here. You don't have to do that. You can use a completely different technique and use the actual highlight that Ligari provides for you. I just saw a video of theirs and I really wanted to try that technique out. That is the only reason why I used the spray paint method in my video. So I hope that this video has helped you guys decide whether or not you want to epoxy your countertops and you think it's going to be worth it. All in all, yes, I would recommend two epoxy countertops it worked great. We've had ours for a year now and they've held up really well. I like I showed you, we do have some minor chips, very slight yellowing, one random stain, and I've tried everything that they recommend to remove the stain and it just won't budge. They recommended letting a baking soda and water mixture paste sit on top of the stain. They've also recommended using denatured alcohol and neither of those things got the stains up, but it is what it is. It doesn't bother us too much, so we're just gonna leave it. One day down the line, we will completely replace our countertops with a quartz or something, but for now, this is a great affordable solution to achieve an updated look in your kitchen. When we did ours, it took about a day to do everything in the kitchen for the countertops because we had to prep them. We sanded them, we prepped them with Bondo. I have a full video on that if you haven't seen it yet. So before you embark on your epoxy countertop journey, go check that out. We had old Formica countertops and we completely redid them with the epoxy kit from Ligari. I highly recommend that you try this if you're trying to find an affordable way to update an outdated kitchen. Ours was very outdated. If you haven't seen the epoxy countertop video yet, Go check it out. I apologize for the sound. It was one of my first DIY videos. So the sound level between my voice and the music is not the best. So apologies for that if you haven't seen it yet and apologies if you have seen it. Anyways, epoxy countertops, do it. You will not regret it. They do stink, so do it in a well ventilated area. Another tip that I can give for you before embarking on the journey, if you haven't seen my video, is to close your vents, especially right now during the winter when the heater is going. Close your vents so you're not getting lint, dust, or anything setting in your epoxy while you're doing it. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and I hope that I have answered all of your epoxy countertop questions. Thank you guys again. Do not forget to stick around and subscribe for a ton of DIY videos as well as some cleaning motivation on my channel. I hope that you have a super amazing day and I will catch up with you guys in the next video.